Hey everybody, RetroPyGuy here. Today I'm going to show you how to pair your 8-bit Doe N30 Bluetooth gamepad controller with RetroPie. The first thing you want to do is plug your controller in and give it a little bit of time to charge. It will likely power on right out of the box, however, they typically don't come fully charged, so it's always a good idea to give them a little bit of time to charge up before pairing them with your system. There's nothing more frustrating than having your battery crap out on you in the middle of setting up a new controller. Once you've given your battery a little bit of time to charge up, the next thing you want to do is make sure that your firmware on your new gamepad controller is fully updated to the most recent version. The best way to do this is to grab your regular computer and navigate over to the 8 bitdo website, www.8bitdo.com. All right, so now in order to get started with this gamepad controller, first thing you need to do is you need to go to 8 bitdo's website, 8bitdo.com. And the first thing you'll do once you get on here is go over to the support tab at the top, and you're going to go in and download this upgrade tool. So if we go down here, you can see you can do it for Mac OS or Windows. I'm on Windows today, so I'm going to just download this real quick. Once it downloads, we will open it up here, double click on it, and you'll likely have to e extract these files. So we'll hit extract all, it should load pretty quickly. And if you already have an 8-bit dough controller, you probably already have this installed on your computer from when you went in and did this with the previous controller. So you can go ahead and just open that back up once you connect your new N30 into the USB port on your computer. You can go through this update process. It's very simple. So this already downloaded. You can see it's right here. So we're just going to double click on the 8 Do firmware updater. So once you open this up, you're going to then plug in your 8 Do N30 gamepad controller into the USB port on your computer. And once you do, you'll see that it populates right down here. So we're just going to hit the firmware update. It's going to lay out the um, different versions that are out here. You can see this is version 6.10, version 6.14. So we will go down to the bottom here and you can see it says, we'll update firmware from V6.14 to V6.14. That just means that it's already updated. Um, I just got this. It's a fairly new controller, so um, depending on when you view this video, they might have some new firmware available You know, by the time you go in and do this. So it's just good practice to get in the habit of just going through here. I'm going to hit update. It's going to go really quickly here because obviously we're already on that same version, so um, it is not 100% necessary. But again, like I said, good practice to go in and just make sure that everything is 100% updated. It only takes a couple seconds to do this. So it says success, fully updated. We can just hit success there. We'll X out. We're able to now unplug the gamepad controller from our computer and we will get into RetroPie now. All right, so in order to pair our 8 N30 gamepad controller with RetroPie, we need to go into our configuration settings. So for today's demo, we're gonna be using the RetroPie Guy 512 gigabyte game collection card with over 15,240 retro video games included on it. So depending on which image or card you're using, this may look a little bit different, but every RetroPie card is going to have configuration settings on here. Typically, it's going to have either a Raspberry Pi or RetroPie logo on it. In this case, we have both. So you're going to go into your configuration settings here, and you're going to jump into Bluetooth. So we'll wait a couple seconds for this to load in. And then you'll see at the top, our first option is pair and connect to Bluetooth device. So this is where we're going to turn on our gamepad controller. In order to do that, just tap the start button and you'll see that this blue light comes on at the top. Since it's not already paired, it'll be flashing. So now we're going to hold our select button for three seconds on here. And you'll notice it'll start to flicker right there. So now we can go ahead and hit that pair and connect to Bluetooth device option on RetroPie. And you'll see that it says searching. So we'll give this a few seconds for both of these to make their connection. And you'll see that on our screen, we have this pro controller that is the correct device. So we'll go ahead and select that. And that'll say, please choose a security mode. Try the first one, then the second if that fails. So we're gonna do exactly that. We'll tap this first option and we'll see if this works. It does. So if we go to our D-pad here and we just go down, you can see that we're able to navigate through these selections. Now we don't have this mapped yet, but we are able to just navigate up and down with um, selections like this. So we'll go over to cancel 
and we will jump out of this page. So now we're going to go into our main menu in order to configure and map our gamepad controller. So hit the start button, you'll jump into the main menu here. And now we're going to go down to configure input and select that option. It'll say, are you sure you want to configure input? We'll go ahead and select yes. So here you can see it says one gamepad detected. That is going to be our brand new 8 N30 gamepad controller here, which is obviously detected through the Bluetooth setting. So now if we just hold any of the buttons on here, I'm going to hold A, you'll see that this controller populates in the bottom there and it immediately brings us to this configuring page. So here we will follow these prompts and set this up. So for D-pad up, we are going to hit D-pad up on our controller. For D-pad down, hit D-pad down. D-pad left, hit D-pad left, and D-pad right, hit D-pad right. For start, we're going to hit the start button. For select, we're going to hit the select button. Now for A, we'll hit the A button, and B, we'll hit the B button. So now we, you'll notice that we obviously have these um, turbo A and turbo B buttons here. Now we can't map these to X and Y on our uh, RetroPie system because these are just an extension of the button below. So if we were to go and say, let's um, try to map turbo A as the X button, if we go and select that, it'll say already taken, because again, these are just set up as extensions of the buttons below. So we cannot map anything for X or Y, so we're just gonna skip those by holding A or B, any button that you've already configured. So I'm just gonna hold A and skip these. So now we do have the shoulder options up here, left and right. So we'll hit, for the left shoulder, we'll hit the left shoulder. For right shoulder, we'll hit right shoulder. We don't have any triggers, um, no thumbs or analog sticks on here. So we're gonna skip all these options and go down to hotkey in order to set that up. So now all these options are typically gonna be for something with dual analog sticks and trigger buttons and all that. So for hotkey, we have this home button on here, which I think is a perfect button to assign as the hotkey rather than um, you know, assigning a dual purpose to the select button, which is what we typically do if we didn't have this extra button here. So since we do, we're gonna utilize it. I'm gonna hit that as my hotkey. And now to confirm all this, I'm just gonna hit the A button here. It'll load for a second or so. And now if we hit the B button, we can back out and you'll see that we're able to now navigate through our game collections. So now you can jump into your Nintendo Entertainment System games and start playing all your favorite games with your brand new 8 N30 Bluetooth gamepad controller. That's going to do it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up on this video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different tutorials like this, gameplay demos, product reviews, all sorts of great stuff. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.